Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 24 of Haven K Block. Today, well, we make the uh, SPS, the Super Phase Shift uh, item, which is right behind me. So, to get to this step, let's hop right into this episode and see how it's done. Okay, guys, so let's get started here. I've got us an isotopic separator here, and uh, hook it up to this so that we're getting pl plutonium as well. And we're going to set that waste barrel right there. And there we go. That's getting plutonium. Uh, let's hook this up to power like so and uh, we got plutonium and polonium being made from this uh, I was doing the numbers here let me go over to my notepad with that numbers and we need a total of 72 plutonium pellets and 291 polo plut polonium pellets. Um, to get those pellets, we're going to need some... Oh, 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 what was it? What is it? I... Blah, 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 blah. It would, it would be helpful if I remembered that I could type it in here. Uh, we're going to need a pressurized reaction chamber for both of these. Okay, so uh, we're going to get some pressurized reaction chambers. And we're gonna set these guys off. One here, I need another pressurized reaction chamber. Uh, one here. And this should make, I think that's how to make the pellets, right? see here uh yeah pressurized reaction chamber yeah on top of both of those i want a functional chest or functional drawer on both of these guys like one here one here all right uh we're going to in here, we're going to just clear all of these out. Okay, so uh, on, we're going to have it on top. It's going to output here. And we're going to have it uh, input the item that we're going to need for it on the back, okay? Uh, the gases, okay, so we're going to have gases coming from this, so uh, we're going to have on the left hand side here, the gases will come in, and on the right, or on the bottom, That's energy gases. On the bottom, we'll also have an M, uh, output. All right, so as you can see here, this will not connect to this, but it will connect underneath this. So what we're going to have to do is set up these two pipes right here 
uh, and hit that five time and that's the pressurized tube. Pressurized tube is this, isn't it? Yes, this needs the oh, pressurized tube. Great. Okay, those are mechanical pipes. Okay, pressurized tubes. Yeah, that's the right one. So we'll have this separated here. So once we uh, set this guy here and uh, hook this guy in, it will get the waste. Um, the power. How did we set up the power? We want the power, say, coming from the front. And on this side, we'll set up so that there is water coming in. So, so if we set up a that and mechanical pipe, a sink. Uh, if you guys have noticed, I've added two more rows of sinks to this uh, to get this up to what is it? 43.2 burn. And yeah, 43.2 will still burn uh, faster than we are, we're, or will burn slower than the water we're putting in. Okay, so, so this gets water. Now we're gonna do the exact setup over here for this guy. Um, we'll have the pressurized tube here, pressurized tube here. Separate that like so. Pre pressurized tube there, pressurized tube there. This we will site config uh, the pretty much the same way as the other one. Uh, except we'll have water coming in on the left. Gases we will output on the bottom and input from the left. So that's how we're going to handle the gases. And I uh, want to make sure that the eject is on the items will go output on the top and input on the back and on this side mechanical pipe the sink configurator water coming in okay so we've got them being made uh, we're just going to need two quantum entanglopers. We're going to set these guys both up this exact same way. We're going to get one of those cards, uh, the configuration card. Uh, go through this, clear all of these out. Uh, I might have to get a third one and set it up over there to handle fluoride dust because I don't think, is that fluoride dust or fluoride? I'm trying to remember what one of these requires fluoride. Ah, uh, it's fluoride blocks. Okay, so we still need food. Okay, so that is still running pretty decently fast. Okay, so we're going to need to come over here to this and set up a another quantum. Uh, with an exporter. 
uh, speed carts. We have these guys real quick. And a stack. And we're going to put this guy here. We're going to uh, configure him so he gets just items. Nothing else, just items. I will get it from the top. Okay. And we will call this... Uh, Fluorite dust. Okay, so we've got fluorite dust now. We'll get the uh, exporter coming into the top here. All right, uh, we'll s click this. We'll say fluorite dust. Uh, stack or speed and stacks. There we go. Over here, we'll finish setting this one up so that on the front it outputs and auto ejects. We'll take the configuration card. Oh, wait. Um, and we'll set this to come down here to fluorite dust here. Set this, get that, injecting it onto that one. And now we can set both of these guys up like that. See how it's getting the fluorite dust. Same with this guy. You guys getting the fluoride dust. Uh, that is 20, uh, 14 of the 72. So what we can do now is uh, pull. I uh, give us flux cards or flux points one here flux point set to that flux point set to that and we can set this guy up. This guy needs 291. So we're almost done with the polarium for right now. <clears throat> but we've got our first four of those done. Uh, so we're, we just got to wait for these to get done. Um... And what I'm going to do is dig down about 10 places and take these spent nuclear waste tubes uh, to about uh, 200 of these, or, or 64 of these uh, radioactive uh, barrels, waste barrels, underneath our base. So I will do that between breaks, and I will be back once we get all of the needed pellets that we need for this so i'll be right back all right guys with a little bit of waiting around and uh, speeding this up a little bit more <clears throat> we have all of the polonium and plutonium pellets that we need and only what we need so uh, 
I will tell you guys now, you need 72 casings to make this reactor, okay? So I'm going to teach it how to make the SPS casings, the super phase shifter casings, and the SPS ports. Please note the 72 also takes into consideration that you are going to be using three SPS ports. Um, so we can come in here and say we need three, uh, 72 of these and then make three of these ports for us. Okay, so 60 uh, without the ports and then on top of that we need some reactor glass. The fission reactor glass. Wait, is there a different reactor glass? Reactor put glass from big reactors. Yeah, yeah. So you, we want uh, 123 of this, so a little over two stacks. Because that's 128, so five less than two stacks. Uh, then we're going to need a supercharged charged coil, which requires uh, one of these lasers. So we can make the laser, but we need uh, at least one of these. We also need a flux point. Okay. And I'm going to come over here. I was originally going to like put it into a room over here, but then I made this lovely area down here where, where all of our spent nuclear waste is at. And I was like, you know, this is a beautiful cave. Why not come down here? Um down here and the one stuff is right here so we're going to separate this uh, pressurized tube right here taking this one and the one right to its right as well and the one to the left, okay, off of this. And uh, we'll, we'll bring all of uh, this polonium that we're making up here down to a super phase shift uh, An SPS. Okay, so let me double check this here real quick. Okay, so the casing requires us to do one, two, three. One here, one, two, three. One here, one, two, three. Mm. Mm. Who are you? Mm. Um, mm. All right. We can fill in this with reactor glass. Hmm. 
like so. What, what, what do you want? I don't want to, I don't want to deal with you. Okay, so one, two, three. Go up to this, go up two. Hook like this, this. All right, and we can just fill this in here. We'll do this on all three sides here. Look, troll, if, if you don't want to be stuck in here once I start pumping this through nuclear uh, waste. Yeah, you heard me, nuclear waste. Get out. Let me finish this up. It is. I told you what I told you to keep you safe. Okay. I don't know what you are. You're you're not as annoying as the uh, trader. So. I was like, wait, didn't we, did we not get enough reactor glass? And I was like, look, troll, troll dude, you seem cool and everything, but I have no qualms in killing you. Yeah, I don't. But reactor, uh, uh, the, the SPS casing up here. And over here as well. I'm hoping that I made the right amount. of SPS casing. I think I did. Because I remember doing this in the last pack, guys. Which I had fun doing. That's why I'm doing the SPS again. Uh, this time with a bigger reactor backing it. Alright, so we start placing these here on these corners. Look, little guy, I don't know who you are. Fine, you asked for it. I did not know who you were. You you had ample warning to get out of here. Nope. It's like, wait. All right, and you can see we got a super phase shift uh, shifter done. So I want to break in here, and I want to put an SPS port here. That SPS port is going to hold the laser. Okay. On this side here. 
we're going to have our output of uh, antimatter. And I think right here on this side, right on this piece of glass, is where we're going to have our polonium input, okay? Um, output, input, yeah. Yeah, we'll set that to input. We'll make this an output. And we'll set this here to the Malcor network. And you see that it is already powering up based upon our reactors and the uh, stored energy we have. Um, we can also click bypass limit, which will pull every little bit that it can from the system. So now, we are going to bring this down here. We're gonna need more pressurized tubes. Uh, we're going to start over here. Bring this up to the ceiling. Uh, we'll, we'll just derp this all up, you know, which we all know Malcors are good at. And there we go. We can see that it's already creating antimatter. It's got two buckets of polonium in there. Uh, it is pretty much burning through all of our energy that it can. Like we're only apparently producing two million RF per tick. So let me, but this progress bar is going at a decent tick here. So we have 29. Uh, and so with all of this done, getting this SPS done here, double checking something, uh, whether or not we still have And yeah, this is a good wrapping up point on this episode with us getting the SPS made up. Showed you guys how to make every bit of this SPS casing and stuff here. So next episode, next episode, we're going to get uh, antimatter done up. I'm going to run this until we get uh, 14 in, uh, one, one, uh, let's see here. 14,000 uh, MB of antimatter done up. Uh, oh, and also, by the way, tank. Yeah, we can go tank here. We can set a tank here, or well, we can uh, just showing you guys this. Antimatter is stable. Uh, it can be stored in a chemical tank. Okay, so. We're going to get 14... Uh, I'm going to get a, like I said, 14,000 buckets of antimatter done up between episodes. And uh, until next time, if you like this episode, hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, go right ahead, hit that dislike button. Let me know down in the comments why you disliked it. it really helps me out. 
you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. You guys are awesome. Until next time, later gators.